How's it going, fam? It's Erica with Not Your Average EDC. Today, we are going to just talk a little bit. Um, I'm at work, letting these two knuckleheads play. <laughs> um, I want to talk about something. Um, this is going to be a, just a straight rant video, uh, but a respectful one. So kick back, relax, grab a snack, grab a drink. Um, let's just talk a little bit here. So I just watched a video by a large YouTuber. Um, and I couldn't make it through the whole video because it was just that tough for me to listen to. <clears throat> but the video was shredding uh, <laughs> people who use, th use their shit, use their knives. Um, and it was more aimed toward the extremists that, that misuse their knives. And at one point in the, whoa, at one point in the video, um, he said, even if you are, and I quote, even if you are in the middle of the ocean and you need a cutting or you need a screwdriver, you can probably find a screwdriver very close by, even if you're in the middle of the ocean. That's where I kind of had to stop. And I know it was a kind of a joke, but it, you get what I'm saying here. So I want to put something into perspective here because things are like just getting out of control with the use your shit thing like making fun of us <laughs> so I never made fun of or crapped on people that collect knives and don't use them I made fun of and crapped on people who collect knives and don't use them and do reviews I'm not sure how many times I have to say that but that's where I aim my not nice words at are the people who try to sell you a knife that they never used, right? They try to get you to buy something that they never actually used. That's, that is who I make fun of. When I say you're creepy for collecting knives and staring at them and not using them, I'm talking about the people that buy $1,000 knives, make a YouTube video about it because they're so excited. It's a, it's a full review. They can highly recommend it, and they cut maybe a piece of paper. That's who I make fun of, openly. Let's put, some, let's put this into perspective here because I just started a new job, and it really has opened my eyes to transparency and not being lazy in this world. So... I have a job where my job at my work, what I get paid to do is take care of rescue dogs that are being trained to be service dogs for veterans with PTSD and um, TBI and stuff like that. And so we rescue the dogs, we kind of recuperate them. They go through an 18 month training regime every single day for 18 months before they can go home with their veteran and they have to be very well trained because they're not emotional support dogs. They're service dogs, they can go anywhere. My job is to get these dogs tired, to walk them, to help train them, to give them enrichment, to let them go potty, to feed them, to give them everything they need from dawn to dusk so that they can perform a task for somebody. Now, let's say that my boss comes to me and says, Erica, can you take Max, we'll say, can you take Max out for a walk? He needs exercise. I go, yeah, sure, of course. That's what I'm getting paid to do, of course. Now let's say that I take out Max and I let him pee and poop outside and he walks around a little bit and we're out there for 10 minutes and I bring him back come back and, you know, put Max away and, you know, a couple hours later, my boss comes to me, Erica, you know, Max is kind of off the walls in his kennel. Like, he's, you know, panting, he's anxious, he seems kind of, like, energized, he seems a little wired. He seems like he's not going to perform his, his services well today because he has too much energy, he's not focused. 
and his handler needs to him to perform a task. His one and only task is to perform service dog duties, right? Just like a knife, whether you collect it, whether you use it or not, a knife is a cutting tool with one task to cut. Even if you want to buy it and not use it, the task is actually to cut things. That's what a knife does. So the, the service dog is supposed to perform a task. And if it's not... If the, if, if the dog is not um, satisfied and taken care of enough, it will not perform the task. It will not do it correctly. So my boss says, you know, Erica, the dog is jumping off the walls in there. It's not going to work today. It, what, did, you, did you walk it? Well, yeah, of course I did. I told you I walked it. Okay, but, like, how long was the walk? Well, I, I don't know. I made sure he, you know, did everything he needed to do. He peed and pooped and he walked around. Right, but, like, for how long? Ten minutes. Well, that's not long enough. You haven't actually exercised the dog. I asked you to, to walk the dog, to exercise the dog, so that it can perform a task. So I can make sure that this dog performs a task. Does this make a little more sense when we take it away from knives and put it into something else? Transparency and honesty, guys, and not being lazy. I could say that I walked the dog, but in reality, I just made sure he peed and pooped and, you know, walked around for 10 minutes. And I could say that I did it, but I didn't actually do it. And in the end, in the long run, it ends up messing things up. Just like when a reviewer gets a knife the knife is meant to cut things, and you literally cut a piece of paper to make sure that it actually cuts, but that's it, and you don't even do anything else with it to make sure that it will fully satisfy the next consumer that buys it. That's not actually your review. And if you're not calling your reviews, your reviews, then that's great. If you're calling it first impressions or overview, fantastic. There's nothing wrong with that. But if you are doing a review and you have not used your knife, that's not a review, you're not being transparent and you're not doing your job, right? Does, does that make more sense? Just like the service dog cannot perform if, whoa, sorry, they're knocking me all over the place. They're having a play date right now. <laughs> um, the service dog cannot perform if it has not actually been taken care of. Just like the knife may or may not actually perform if it hasn't been put through some testing, if it hasn't actually been used, it might, it might not satisfy the next owner. Just like the dogs, if they're not taken care of, they might not satisfy the next veteran if they're not actually doing their job. This is supposed to be respectful, guys. This is supposed to try to open people's eyes to the movement that I did not start. I did not start this movement. I just use the term because I, I like it and it suits me. Use your shit. It's bigger than knives, guys. It's like use your body, move your body, use your tools. They're tools. Use use your legs. Go, go walk. Go take a hike. Like, they're there for a reason. I don't know. You have a brain. Use it. Um... It's really difficult for us to spend money on things when we're being pushed to to buy them because somebody told us to when they didn't actually even use the knife other than to cut a piece of paper or one package with tape on it. I hope this makes a little more sense. Because I've never crapped on people that collect knives and just stare at them. Do I think that's weird? Yes. I do think it's a little weird if you collect anything and just stare at it and don't actually use it. But you can you can live your life. You can do whatever you want. You know, like, I, I don't care. I think it's a little weird, but I don't actually care. And if it makes you happy, go for it. Um, it's when you go into the realm of I... I'm going to make reviews and try to get people to buy this because I have it and I really like it, but I didn't actually use it. And 
the the YouTube video that kind of sparked me making this at one point he or multiple times he was like these people have such a dull life that they need validation maybe we do maybe we want validation not because our life is dull and boring but because people for some reason the people that actually use their knives have a smaller following and they're not supported by companies and then you have people that literally do tabletop reviews of knives that they never actually use and they can't get enough free stuff does that make sense maybe to some of us it is validation because we don't get the opportunities that you get we're blue collar dirty hard workers that use our knives and really push them and for some reason we are beyond overlooked by most companies and we don't get to to have free stuff to have the sponsors um to have a hundred thousand subs on youtube uh to make money off of youtube to have connections with companies that will send us knives to you know try out and we don't get the same opportunities as you we're the min minority because we actually use our stuff it's very odd so maybe some of us are looking for validation maybe some of us are trying to use our stuff and make reviews and be like hey what about me too over here like i actually use my knives i bench made i can tell you how that redoubt is going to do if you send me one i'll actually use it i will record myself using it look at me i'll do that i use my knife every day at work i can tell you how it's going to perform crickets crickets but big boy over on youtube big boy physically big boy doesn't really use knives at all can't stop getting things sent to him to them there's many of them and that doesn't help us as consumers obviously but it doesn't help companies either because if if big influencers on youtube and instagram are um pushing products because they got it for free or they're getting paid by that company and they didn't actually use it how is that even helping the company because when they when those products fail because they weren't actually tested that's not good for the company it really doesn't make a lot of sense to me um the the whole the way that this specific community works, it's very odd. And I'm not talking about my, I don't want validation. I've said before, I turn down free stuff from companies all the time. I'm talking about other channels, other pages that have come to me specifically and said, hey, I've had my channel for like three years. I only have 300 subs. I post every day on Instagram. How do I, how do I, get more stuff how do i get recognized how do i how do i get validated i really like bench made knives i how do i get them to notice me i really want to work with them hey well what guess what you're shit out of luck because they're not going to care about you because <laughs> you actually use your knives and they're afraid that you're going to use it and actually show its faults probably i mean this in as a the most respectful way I can I can make it, guys. You know, um, I want to make this video because uh, the dogs are currently having playtime. That is part of their um, part of their day is literally two dogs going out in the yard like they are right now and playing so that they are socialized and they get each other tired. And they're supposed to learn how to play with other dogs properly. That's what these guys are doing. So I'm doing my job here, right? Um, just think about it. And the same people that crap on us for using our shit are the ones being like, well, the use your shit crew, all they do is talk shit and make fun of us. So now I'm going to make fun of them. And it's like <laughs> fighting fire with fire. The entire video, they'll be like saying how we're rude and mean and unwelcoming and stuff but it's like you are literally making a hillbilly voice imitating a minority group of people that are blue collar workers that use their tools and we're the bad guys even though you're the one mocking us 
you say that you're mocking us, making fun of us, using very specific examples of very specific people and mocking them and making fun of them and that's supposed to help the cause? I don't know. Um, just something to think about, guys. For the crew of people that watch my videos and the group of people that I interact with on Instagram and YouTube, the, the people that actually use their knives and want to be more transparent about reviews, keep using your tools. Keep using them. We just gotta keep trucking. Um, that's all we can do, is actually use our gear and recommend it to people that are going to use their gear. There will always be a way bigger group of people not using their gear and doing reviews and having everyone else buy the knives. That, that's always gonna happen, but we have our little group. We have our little group of people that don't sit around and stare at knives all day and, you know, we actually use them and push them and test their abilities and record the findings and are more science-based, more realistic and logical. Keep using your tools. Keep using your shit. Um, whether you do or not, I love you, but if you... If you're, if you're lazy and dishonest, you... you it's tough for me to climb on the train with you, but I still love you all. I hope you guys have a great day. Say goodbye. Goo -goo. <laughs> I'll see you guys later. Love you all.